everyone wants big, chunky, low end that's just, you know, hard, hitting hard, fast, punchy. How do you achieve that in mastering if it's not already there in the mix? Well, here's a top tip that you might not have thought of how to do. I do it quite a lot that gets this real strong low end. So what you do is you put something like a back CQ or some kind of like fab filter or something before, or if you're lucky enough to have some hardware, put some EQ around the kind of 50 hertz on a bell curve. Now put it on there, turn it up by about say 2 dB. Now after that, what you wanna do is have a multiband compressor on the low end. So what you're doing is pushing loads of bass into the multiband, and then you're using the multiband to keep that under control. And so what that does is it gives you a big sound, but you can, you're controlling it so that it doesn't make the mix sound too flabby and too over bassy. Make sure you've got the compressor set up correctly. It's on a fast release and a slow attack and then you keep it so you're pushing into it and then you're holding that down. What that's gonna do, it just really thickens up the low end and gives you a real big staunchy, punchy low end. Obviously this is track dependent. It can't work on every single track, so don't try it on every track. But if you're missing that kind of lower, big weight that you want if it's not in the mix already, without going back to the mix engineer or without going back to the mix yourself, try pushing a load of 50 hertz or around that area into a multiband compressor to really get some big chunky low end. I hope that's helped you, I hope you like that tip. Let me know how you get chunky low end in the comments below. If you like these kind of tips, please go to my website streaky.com, sign up to the Audio Anorax newsletter where you get tips, tricks, freebies, giveaways and discounts. Go to streaky.com. See you next time, bye.